Here are the list of medicinal herbs in the Philippines and their traditional medicinal uses. Number 1. Asthma Weed Or commonly known as Tawitawa. Asthma weeds contain triterpenes, phytosterols, tannins, polyphenols, and flavonoids. It is a hairy herb that grows in open grasslands, roadsides and pathways. It is widely used in traditional herbal medicine across many cultures, particularly for asthma, skin ailments, hypertension, and also can treat dengue fever, stop diarrhea, can help cure malaria, and keeps the urinary system healthy. Number 2. Bitter Gourd Commonly known as Ampalaya. Ampalaya is a popular medicinal herb for the treatment and management of type 2 diabetes. It is rich in vitamins, minerals, and health-benefiting phytoconstituents. Other phytoconstituents include polypeptide P, a plant insulin, shrantin, glycosides, and caravalosides that improve blood sugar levels through mechanisms such as increasing glucose uptake and glycogen synthesis in the liver, muscles, and adipose tissues. Number 3. Blue Meacamphor, commonly known as Sambong. The volatile oil obtained from Sambong consists of camphor, borneol, isoborneol, terpineol, carifeline, whayol, and eugenol. Sambong displays a variety of biological activities such as anti-tumor, hepatoprotective, antioxidant, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-melnogenic, platelet aggregation, wound healing, and anti-obesity properties. It is used as herbal treatment for kidney stones, cuts or wounds, rheumatism, diarrhea, spasms, colds, coughs, and hypertension. Number 4. Cat's Whiskers. Commonly known as Balbus Boza. Cat's Whiskers is commonly used to treat renal inflammation, kidney stones, and dysuria. It contains antioxidant compounds like rosmarinic acid, beta-cytosterol, ursulic acid, glycolic acid, methylreperiochromine A, bioflavonoids, and olinolic acid. Methylreperiochromine present in the herb could decrease systolic blood pressure. Rosmarinic acid and methyl ated flavonoids are found in large amounts in this herb. Rosmarinic acid is a general antioxidant and anti inflammatory compound. Methyl ated flavonoids have properties that combat cancer, oxidant stress, pathogenic bacteria, inflammations, cardiovascular dysfunctions, and other diseases. Number 5. Five-leaved chaste tree, commonly known as Lagundi. Traditionally, the leaves have been used as a decoction to treat coughs, fevers, respiratory diseases, and as an anti-inflammatory agent. Lagundi contains antioxidant phenolic compounds and flavonoids such as casticin, chrysopyl NLD, luteolin, isoorientin, and luteolin 70 glucoside. Number 6. Forest tea. Or commonly known as Chingobat. Chingobat with the scientific name of Aresha microphylla lam, is a popular shrub in the Philippines. It is a well-known medicinal plant and has been widely used even before it was formally recognized by the Department of Health for its numerous medicinal benefits. In traditional medicine, Chingobat is used as a tea to promote overall health. 
Additionally, it is used as a disinfectant during childbirth and as a gargle to prevent tooth decay. Number 7. Ginger. Ginger is native to Asia where it has been used as a cooking spice for at least 4,400 years. Ginger, the root or the rhizome, of the plant Cinibra ficinal, has been a popular spice and herbal medicine for thousands of years. It has a long history of use in Asian, Indian, and Arabic herbal traditions. Ginger has been used to help digestion and treat stomach upset, diarrhea, and nausea for more than 2000 years. Ginger has also been used to help treat arthritis, colic, diarrhea, and heart conditions. It has been used to help treat the common cold, flu-like symptoms, headaches, and painful menstrual periods. Number 8. Gotu Kola. Gotu Kola is a perennial plant native to India, Japan, China, Indonesia, South Africa, Sri Lanka, and the South Pacific. A member of the parsley family, it has no taste or smell. It thrives in and around water. It has small fan-shaped green leaves with white or light purple to pink flowers and small oval fruit. The leaves and stems of the Gotikola plant are used as medicine. It was used to heal wounds, improve mental clarity, and treat skin conditions such as leprosy and psoriasis. Some people use it to treat respiratory infections, such as colds, and in the past it was used for that in China. It has been called the fountain of life because legend is it that an ancient Chinese herbalist lived for more than 200 years as a result of taking gotu cola. Number 9. Lemongrass. Commonly known as tanglad. Lemongrass is a plant. The leaves and the oil are used to make medicine. Lemongrass is used for treating digestive tract spasms, stomach ache, high blood pressure, convulsions, pain, vomiting, cough, rheumatism, fever, the common cold, and exhaustion. It is also used to kill germs and as a mild astringent. Some people apply lemongrass and its essential oil directly to the skin for headache, stomach ache, abdominal pain, and muscle pain. Number 10. Mangosteen. Mangosteen is a tropical fruit, the fruit, fruit juice, rind, twig, and bark are used as medicine. Mangosteen is used for many conditions, but so far, there isn't enough scientific evidence to determine whether or not it is effective for any of them. Mangosteen is used for diarrhea, urinary tract infections, gonorrhea, thrush, tuberculosis, menstrual disorders, cancer, osteoarthritis, and an intestinal infection called dysentery. It is also used for stimulating the immune system and improving mental health. Some people apply mangosteen to the skin for eczema and other skin conditions. Number 11. Oregano. Oregano is an herb used to flavor foods. It is considered safe in common food amounts, but has little evidence of health benefits. Oregano has olive green leaves and purple flowers. It is closely related to other herbs, including mint, thyme, marjoram, and basil. Oregano contains chemicals that might help reduce cough. Oregano also might help with digestion and with fighting against some bacteria and viruses. People use oregano for wound healing, parasite infections, 
and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. Number 12. Moringa, or commonly known as Malungai. Malungai is a plant native to northern India that can also grow in other tropical and subtropical places, like Asia and Africa. Folk medicine has used the leaves, flowers, seeds, and roots of this plant for centuries. It's traditionally been used as a remedy for such conditions like, diabetes, long-lasting inflammation, bacterial, viral, and fungal infections, joint pain, heart health, and cancer. Moringa has many important vitamins and minerals. The leaves have about as much potassium as a banana, and about the same amount of vitamin C as an orange. It also has calcium, protein, iron, and amino acids, which help your body heal and build muscle. Number 13. Painted Coleus, or commonly known as Miana. Miana is one of the traditionally used folkloric medicine and is primarily used for pain, sore, swelling and cuts and in other instances as adjunct medication for delayed menstruation and diarrhea. This traditional uses of Miana are scientifically supported by studies here in the Philippines and in abroad. Chemists from the University of the Philippines isolated sterols and tritopines form the leaves of Miana and it exhibited analgesic, anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial activities. Number 14. Queen's Crepe Mythyl, or commonly known as Banaba. The Banaba plant is a tree native to Southeast Asia. It is widely known as a folk remedy for decades, with the first research study about it done back in 1940. Banaba typically grows in tropical areas, and can reach up to 40 to 60 feet tall, and has a spread of about 30 to 40 feet. Banaba is touted to help with diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, kidney problems, and even urinary tract infections or UTI. Number 15. Turmeric, commonly known as Liwi Angdilor. Turmeric, is a common food item in the Filipino pantry. Not only is it often used as an ingredient in our favorite dishes, but it is also made into tea because of its various medicinal benefits. A close relative of ginger, Liwi Angdilor is a very abundant herb in our country. The health benefits of drinking Liwi Angdilor are scientifically proven. Curcumin, the active ingredient in Liwi Angdilor, is found to be effective in many ways as it is rich in antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory properties. Herbal medicine has its origins in ancient cultures. It involves the medicinal use of plants to treat disease and enhance general health and well-being. Some herbs have potent ingredients and should be taken with the same level of caution as pharmaceutical medications. In fact, many pharmaceutical medications are based on man-made versions of naturally occurring compounds found in plants. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated every time we uploaded new video.